Good morning, good morning, good morning, good Friday morning. Hey, it's time for the weekend again. Just came off of a wonderful Christmas holiday and now almost back at the weekend. Well, good morning and blessed Friday. It's time for the word of today. I always start out with my Psalms 91 and Psalms 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, and to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. All right, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. Okay, let's go to the word for today. I got a feeling it's going to be a really good one. Now remember, when I'm reading the word for today, I'm reading from the Mount Pisgah Baptist Church booklet, which is where I attend church. And so this is the booklet that we get quarterly. So this one is going to be for today, December the 27th. Okay. Trust God's timing. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 11. Trust God's timing. What I have said, that I will bring about. God has a plan for your life that requires certain things to happen at a particular time. And since he sees the big picture and you're working with limited information, you must trust him, even when you don't see how it will all come together. God can take the loss of a relationship or a job and make it work for your good. The trouble is, while he's doing all this, you can feel uncomfortable and downright miserable. 782 years before the birth of Jesus, the prophet Michael said that he would be born in Bethlehem. But Mary and Joseph were living in Nazareth. So how did God solve the problem? The Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now obviously pregnant. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. Are you worried about the future? Don't be impatient for the Lord to act. Keep traveling steadily along his pathway. And in due season, he will honor you with every blessing. Relax. The God who arranged for his son to be born into the right family at the right time in the right place is looking out for you today so trust God's timing and what I have said that will come about all right you guys I hope you enjoyed the word for today tune in for the word for today daily sometimes twice a day and hey get ready for your upcoming new year blessings and like I always say don't waste a second or a minute or an hour of your day without telling God that you love him your family too be blessed